Well, hello, everyone. I hope you are doing well. I just got COVID. I went to a conference over the end of the week, weekend, and came back and tested positive for COVID today, and I'm doing fine. But that's what we're going to talk about a little bit today, about how you can handle stresses with the unexpected. To give you a bit of an update, Mangero, week four, I took my four shot today, which means I am going up in dose next week. That is if I can get to the pharmacy and collect my doses. Everything's been going very well. And of course, I'm in the smallest dose. Things I think tend to go very well at this dose level. So I'm interested to see what happens next. I did lose 3.1 pounds, a few more inches, primarily off my waist and a little bit off my neck too, but I've always lost weight around my waist. I get to be like this thin in the center where all my pants fall down completely and then the rest of me then slowly shrinks thereafter. So still doing good, 3.1 pounds. That brings us to a total of 8.1 pounds. I have an app and that's what it says. So I have not done the math because right now my brain is just busted and I'm not doing math. But some interesting things happened. I just want to talk like week three, I've been not really feeling it anymore. The first week I could feel it coming on. I, I would uh, spit up water if I drank it too fast. Right now it's at this very low, kind of soft level, but I don't know, part of me thinks let's just stay at 2.5 because it's working all right with the weight loss. My blood sugar is in a good place. Maybe it's the right dose for me, but I'm interested to see what five milligrams will do for me instead. So we'll see. We'll see when I actually pick up the dose. I don't have any immediate effects. I notice that food kind of sits in my gut like a lump, which a lot of people mention. But today what I really wanted to talk about is what happens when you do something unexpected. So like I said, I went to a conference and you go to a conference and you have very little control over what you can eat. Luckily for me, this was a conference in Chicago. I could drive. And so it was easy for me to pack up my car full of some foods, but I also didn't want to take a lot of foods. If this were a flying trip, this would probably be a different discussion. But essentially, I knew I wouldn't have a lot of access to the foods I wanted to eat, or at least what has been working really well for me. I almost have this perfect meal plan figured out that gets me everything I need on a daily basis. And so that is going very well. So the conference itself starts out with breakfast. I skipped the breakfast because... It wasn't a social event. And if they were, it was an ad hoc gathering for breakfast. I ate two pears in my room and then had a like a power crunch bar. They're sort of wafery power bars with protein. And that seemed to hold me most of the time. Then for a snack, I brought these bags of peanut butter filled pretzels. You can also get them at Costco, but Trader Joe's has a really good variety too. And it's a good combination of a little bit of carbs with a little bit of protein and fat. And so I made that my snack, having about six of those. And then lunch was typically a turkey sandwich. But these turkey sandwiches, because they were in a hotel, were the size of my head. You know, one would make themselves a turkey sandwich this big. But what I would do is eat some of half of it. And then I took the other half up to my room to eat at a later time. For dinner, that became the biggest problem because everyone wants to go out to a restaurant. You want to feel like you're participating, but you can do things in a restaurant. And even when I was dieting very hard, I used to travel for work. There were lots of steps I took to try to make that work for me because, of course, everyone is eating out. You don't want to feel like you're missing out on something. And so what I did back in my travel days is I ate hors d'oeuvres, appetizers, because they are typically the very same meals at about, well, not half the price, but a little bit like half the price. And usually it's just one of whatever the main dish is. So in this case, I stuck with kebabs. It just gave you one kebab instead of two or three. It had a little bit of vegetables in it, a little bit of sauce in there, which the sauce didn't seem to upset my stomach or anything like that. And it seemed like the least scary thing for my stomach on that menu. So that ended up going okay, but usually going for something high protein on the appetizer menu is the way to go when you're traveling and you don't have a lot of control over your diet. If they didn't have anything, I probably would have gone with some sort of a protein salad. So you can do things even though your food choices are taken out of your hands. There's always something that you can do. The other part of it too is that because I wasn't eating so well, I'm, I said I'm focusing on protein and I'm focusing on fiber. Those are my two big things that I'm focusing on. And 
I wasn't getting it. I was getting a little bit close on the protein, but fiber was nowhere near. So I brought something that was called Fiber Care Fiber Chews. I saw a lot of things on Reddit where people were recommending different kinds of fibers that you can put in drinks and such. This one woman posted and said, I've been eating these and I just shore up whatever my fiber numbers are with these chews. One dose is considered to be three chews. And I have to tell you, it works perfectly for me so far. If I just supplement whatever my net diary says is my fiber for the day, it seems to be good. Like I seem to be able to stay healthy and stay doing all the things I'm supposed to be doing while taking these fruit chews. Very easy to pack. I also made sure I packed vitamins, knowing I'm not going to get everything that I hoped to get eating. It wasn't my favorite week of eating, but it worked okay. And I didn't feel sick and I didn't feel like I was depriving myself that I didn't get a chance to hang out with other people's going to this conference. So that was all very good. One thing that I noticed is that there was a lot of interest in this drug. I just really don't want to be that person who says, oh, you know what? I just decided to give up pretzels and therefore that's how come I'm losing all this weight. I've been real honest with people, telling people up front that I'm taking this drug. I, I just don't see personally any reason to hide that. And so there were a lot of interest. A lot of people were interested in what it is I was actually doing. So we got a chance to talk about that a little bit. We got a chance to talk about not even just the food effects, but the fact that I gave up Diet Coke the next day. I haven't had a Diet Coke. And in fact, I stopped off to get gas and there was this big display of Diet Coke and I went, ugh, brown water. I mean, it didn't even have an appeal for me, which is so weird because like I said before, it's the first thing I thought of in the morning, Diet Coke. And now I just don't anymore, which is great. There's some other activities that I found that I did in almost an OCD fashion, reviewing news and weather as if I can control everything. If I know what's happening, no, nah, I can't. But I started not remembering to check the news and the weather, which was good on one side because maybe I'm not so embroiled in news, but on the bad side of it, I guess. A severe storm came rolling through here last week, and I recorded right through it because I was ignoring all the messages. But anything in my behavior that is even mildly OCD, it just seems to have gone away. And mostly it's all good things, but also forgetting my calendar at times, maybe a little bit of a bad thing. But it's all right. But I think the message I just wanted to get out in all of this is that we do great when all the factors are inside of our control, when we can control our food, we can control what items we eat and how much quantity we can control whether we're sick or not. Like I said, I got COVID and yesterday I was flat out like bedridden. Today I'm better and I feel a little bit better, but what can we do in order to make sure we prepare for these times when we lack control? So my suggestions are, first of all, you're not always going to be able to cook, whether you're away from home or you're just sick. So always have something readily available. I have yogurts and cottage cheese. I have some things that I can eat if I can't really make myself something to eat because I'm sick. The other thing were these fiber chews, something I can pack and bring with me when I have no control over my diet at all. And then the last recommendation is making sure that you just hit something as close to what it is you're trying to do. I tried to go for more high protein things, knowing that in a pub restaurant, I wasn't going to get fiber anything in that restaurant. So high protein was my best option. That was the one thing I could do. So always move in a direction at least you can do and don't fret about the things you can't do. But the most you, but the more you prepare and the more you get ready for those unexpected situations, I think the better all of this goes. And just even if you were regular dieting, preparing for your perfect days or your normal days is great, but preparing for those times, those outliers where you just don't have control over the food you're eating or you are coming up short because you don't feel that well. I know yesterday when I was feeling sick, I woke up at 7.30 at night and I realized I've had 230 calories today and probably under 30 ounces of water to drink. So I forced myself to get up. I ate something. I drank a bunch of water. I took more medicine, more Tylenol, and then went back to bed. At least I got something in. And so you just do what you can. I mean, that's the biggest message I have with you. Plan when you can, and then do whatever it is you can do. If you can't get it perfect, don't worry about perfect. Worry about doing what's possible. 
So I had a great time at the conference. I did get to speak. I talked a lot about the Notion information application, and I got to see a lot of fascinating presentations from other people talking about automation and all of that. So it was fascinating. Sure, I got COVID, but oh well, you know, what are we going to do? We're going to see next week how we do on the higher dose. So I hope you're doing well out there. Please remember that you can always email me or you can just message me on the YouTube channel. I'm happy to answer any questions or go through anything that has been my experience. I know I'm rather new to it, but I'm happy to help. Thanks so much.